you have your usual illnesses that come on and it's bad timing and it's really sad when it's on Christmas. For emergency physician Josh Fanayan, it's a difficult end to a difficult year. One thing that sticks out the most is I remember having a patient a few months ago who was clearly dying. They couldn't be surrounded by their loved ones as they normally would be. The patient's family had to wear gloves and gowns. They couldn't hug or kiss the patient. Elsewhere in the country, similar sentiments as doctors have adjusted to the unusual. It's amazing how routine it all feels, you know, wearing all our strange PPE, seeing people who are, you know, suddenly so short of breath from an infection that didn't even exist a year ago. But during this holiday season, it's not just patients bearing the weight of COVID-19. The feeling in the hospital is usually fairly lighthearted and fun and, and um, you know, we get to, um, you know, have, have a bit of fun, I guess, between, uh, between the patients that we see. I think the difference this year is really the, um, the amount of illness. As of last week, more than 27,000 people had been hospitalized due to COVID-19 this year, more than 5,000 admitted to intensive care, prompting this plea from the doctors we spoke to, no matter where in the country they work. Try and, you know, really stay within your households this Christmas. Really try not to, to mix with, with other individuals because, you know, if you keep going around and, and, and keep leaving um, your home and visiting other homes, that's how this disease spreads. I know it's been a hard year, um, but hopefully 2021 will be a bit brighter for us. It's like being in a marathon. Sometimes the last couple miles in a marathon running are the hardest. A last-ditch effort to curb the pandemic as vaccines roll out across Canada. Rafi Bujikani on CBC News, Edmonton.